We are with uh, Peter Stevart from uh, CAVT. Can you explain to us about your organization? What, what do you do? Yes, uh, so at CVT in Gothenburg, we are a part of the Yeely Group and we develop mobility solutions for a different tomorrow. That means uh, electrified vehicles with uh, digital services that fits the future. And what types of uh, technologies you are most interested in? We are really interested to find technology that's in-cabin tech, but also technology that helps uh, normal users charge an electric vehicle. So we are quite wide and open. And uh, we are here in Israel because we really like the culture and the openness and the, the, the leaning forward attitude of, of um, the startup nations here. So pleased to be here. Volvo as, as a company actually has a long uh, relationship with Israel through incubators uh, in Israel. Uh, what is your experience with, uh, with Israel, your personal experience so far? Uh, I have two days personal experience so far in Israel and, and it's only positive so far, so really good. Yeah. But, but did you also pick uh, some knowledge from, from Volvo or are you a completely different organization? Uh, we are a completely different organization, but of course we have other innovation hubs where we are also together with Volvo. Uh, so we have, uh, of course, interaction with Volvo as well. Yes. Obviously, everybody knows the trends in this industry, but what are the specifics that you're looking into? What are the specific technologies that you're most interested in? I would say it's um, intelligent uh, systems uh, or solutions. It can be software, uh, but it also can be a product, uh, including software. Uh, we are today quite uh, advanced in our uh, mechanical platforms, that's what we have done successfully up until today and now we're expanding into digital products and there we have a lot to learn but also I think uh, open uh, innovation together with some partners is, is the way forward there. The most important topic though is sustainable. Uh, sustainability is sometimes misinterpreted as just being an, an environmental thing. It's, it's people, it's planet but it's also the profit. And that is something we you try to use that, those glasses in everything we do, even if it's a software or if it's a, a, some hardware solution. Do you think that COVID changed the way that you talk to people or you communicate with people? I mean, the fact that you're personally here, does it help making the new contacts that you're uh, uh, looking for? I think actually COVID uh, helped us to... Uh, meet uh, digitally with people quite far away. Um, it helped us a lot and also here in Israel I talked to a lot of people that uh, tell me the same thing, that they connected with people I did never connected with before. So we learned how to, to communicate digitally in a good way and now we also managed to travel. So I think we'll start traveling now but maybe not as much as we used to. And lastly, I'm not going to ask you about specifics uh, or maybe deals that you've made, but uh, do you find this specific uh, trip that you made here beneficial for you? Did you meet interesting companies, Israeli companies? Yes, we have an innovation uh, hub here in Israel. Um, and with that good local support, we can really find the right ones to meet. We want to meet as many as possible, of course, but we also cherry pick some companies that we like to see in person. Okay, thank you very much, Peter.